Hello YouTube. I'm gonna show you how to replace a bulb or a ballast in a fluorescent dropper. Now this right here is not a true fluorescent dropper, it's like something that I made. But you would be dealing with a metal fixture, it has four bulbs, a ballast cover right in the center, or sometimes off to the side. It may have three bulbs. It may even have a T8 fluorescent bulb, like where in these boxes right here. So you gotta figure out which one is first of all. We're going to start with bulbs. You got to figure out which one's the bad bulb. Now, if you have two other bulbs in the fixture, first of all, go ahead and twist out one of them. Okay. Now, I would actually, if your bulb comes on partially, twist this bulb back in. The one that you first twisted out and twist out the second one. That way you have no light in the fixture. Now, you told me they're gonna be wired center and outer. Sometimes they're wired left and right. In this case, the outside ones is the one I just removed. And you're gonna look around to see if you see any glowing. Now, one of these bulbs are gonna glow. The other one does not. Sometimes they may not glow at all. You never know. Now, the way I can tell that you cannot tell that in a normal fixture, but I can tell in this one because I can see the wires. On each ballast, there's a set of wires, a red, a blue, a yellow, and power. Blue is going to tie to one socket, red is going to tie it to another socket, and then yellow is going to jump all the way over here and tie it to the yellow too. First set of bolts, per bolts. So on this one, if you twist out the blue one, then you're going to see no activity from that ballast. If you twist out the red one, so if the red one goes bad, here, I'll show you. So the blue one I just put back in. If I remove the blue one, there's no activity from the from those two set of bulbs. If I twist out the red one, the one on the red wires, as you can see, the blue one stays impartially. You're not going to be able to tell that. Really, uh, I can put that back in. Now, you can do it with the power off, but it's a lot harder to do so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take out one bulb. I can tell which one's which, but really the best way to do is just to take out a bulb. This is a pain if you don't know which one's which. Just take out a bulb, switch it out with a good one, and then go ahead if that doesn't work. So like this one's my blue wire, so I'm gonna twist this one out. I don't want that one. There we go. So you're gonna twist it. Now you can do it with the power off. I recommend doing that if you do not feel comfortable with one of these fixtures. I'm gonna do it with the power on. The best way to do it on a fluorescent troffer is normally they will be pointed down the sockets. I would take one out, move to the side of the socket, and then go ahead and take this one down. Do that or just leave it in the socket and angle it out if it's the outside bulb. But if it's the center bulb, you're gonna have to, it's like this one right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that one in and take this one out. Once you know the pins are vertical, take, take it out. And then this one, I can actually just back it out. Just like this. And then it comes out, but it won't come down all the way. And after this, how to get it out of the fixture. This is where a lot of people get confused. Is you're gonna take one end of the bulb, you're gonna move it all the way over to the farther side. You're gonna take one end, and then this other end, grab it with two hands, and swing it over. You can see that this one's still in the corner. And you're just gonna go ahead, make sure it's all the way in the corner. Don't make, make sure, make sure it's not like that. So then go ahead and just, Push it on over and angle it out. And then it comes right out. And then you're gonna get your brand new bulb. If you're, replacing, if you're planning on replacing both bulbs, then go ahead and take both of them down, but I'm only gonna take down one of them. And then this is the good bulb. And then you're gonna do the same thing that you did before. You're gonna take one end, Put it up into the fixture. Uh, you're gonna take one end and put it into the fixture, and the other end you're gonna swing it over, put it in, then now in. 
Now, you gotta get into the groove by pressing it in there. And then go ahead and just put it in. Now, it might take a minute with this particular fixture. Sometimes I even gotta do it like this. There you go. So now done. And then there you go. There's that one. Now the four bolts work properly. Now to replace a ballast is a little bit different. You're gonna take down all four bulbs. This one, I gotta actually remove the outside bolt first. I mean, the inside bolt first. Sometimes we have to do the opposite. And then to do the same thing as if you're replacing a bulb. And take it out. And then put them somewhere different than a closed basket. That's what I'm gonna do. And do not hold this with one hand. Hold it with two hands if you can. And take down the other two. All right, now take this side down. Oh, okay. okay. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm showing you how to take apart a fluorescent proffer. A typical fluorescent proffer that you would see in a building. It would be that metal housing with a big grid you would normally see in like an office quick guns drop ceilings stuff like that how to get access to them now I don't have a door on mine I've never actually made one but you would normally have two clips it would be on one end of the fixture you would go ahead and pull it down on here Pull another one down here and then it'll just swing open and then it'll hang on hinges, the door. And then you would see this with four bulbs in it or sometimes even two bulbs, uh, maybe two bulbs in the center, two bulbs on the outside, whatever. You would just see bulbs in a ballast cover, whether it's over here, here, or in the center. Now, getting the ballast cover down is pretty simple. This one I can replicate, but it doesn't actually do it. Um, what a standard tr proper would do. You have three clips. One, two, and three. So, what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze the ballast cover together. Here's one, two, and three. And then you would have a ballast cover that looks like that. So you cannot get that. People get this confused all sometimes. Now, this is not hanging over the side, but I'm actually trying to replicate it. So then after that, you're gonna try to like, take one end right there and then try carefully, you know, get it through. And then eventually you can get it like that and then it will come down. There's two ways to replace a ballast. I would replace the one that's bad. First off, I will try to find which one it is. If an outside bulb goes bad, try and look for yellow, the yellow wires first. Look at the yellow wires because it's some, so much simpler to look for these first. Take down a plate. Pop it out, pop it out. Now, let's say my outer bulb ballast just went bad. If I see two, if I see a red wire, a red wire here, a blue wire here, I know that this ballast is bad. If I see yellow wires here, I know that this ballast is bad. Now, if you're wiring it left and right, same thing. If I see two red wires, now if I'm wired left and right, let's say my uh, right wires, my right ones just went bad. If there's red and blue wires here, you know it's this ballast. If you know it's yellow wires here or whatever color it is, it would normally be yellow. It would be this ballast. And then replacing a ballast, if a ballast goes bad, some people like to cut it here. They like to cut it and then wire it together. I do not like that whatsoever. Now, 
reason why is because that is making unnecessary connections that can fail over time. Unnecessary connections that can cause a fire. So they would they would just cut it here, cut it here, and then go ahead and proceed on to make it easier. Well, it just makes a lot more connections that they don't need to be made. And it can cause more connections that can fail over time and cause a fire, if not a spark. And you would have to get any ballast again. What I recommend doing is going over to your sockets, taking them down, and pulling the wire out. What you're going to do is just going to twist it out and pulling gently at the same time, and then they'll come out. Then go ahead and take that ballast down. Do the same thing over on this side, whatever ballast went bad. So like this one right here would mean if my outable ballast went bad, that means that I would just take these two wires out and go ahead and replace this one ballast. You do not have to replace both in a four bolt fixture. You do not have to replace both. You can just replace one and then leave the other one in put. Now, if you're only using two bulbs, what I recommend doing, taking down the ballast that just went bad and then just use this one if you want two bulbs. If you want four bulbs, go ahead and replace that one. Now, the reason why is because these old magnetic ones, when they go bad, they like to leak. Matter of fact, I'll input a picture um, here to a ballast that did a leak and I'll show you what that means. Uh, the ballast has already been removed, but I'll input a picture here showing you um, the aftermath of a ballast leaking. These old ballasts like to leak. A lot of people do not like them. I do like, I do like to use these. These are almost, I would say 40 years old. I keep on saying 30, but I did not know that, hey, this has not been touched in who knows how long. So these are over 40 year old ballasts still working. That's honestly amazing. So that's really it. And then also under your hot and uh, neutral. So that's it. And we're now to put the ballast cover back up. You're going to put one end right there where it's sitting just up and over the corner. Take the other end, do that, do the same thing over here. Try to get it up and in. It might be a little bit tight. You could try curving the ballast. And I had no clue when the camera paused, but we're gonna. I just put the ballast cover back up. If you missed that, then uh, you saw me how I took it out, so you could just put it back in. Now just put all four bubbles in. Be note on which fixture you have and which one goes in first. In this case, my outside bulbs go first. Sounds like it's going bad already. So we're just gonna insert it. All right, that one's in. There we go. Those two are in. Grab this bulb next. This is an outside bulb. Put it. the fixture it's in and then after that insert that side in first come on that one that way in see now we have light and then put the final bulb in So you like takes like a minute just to put bulbs in. People say it takes a long time. It's because you don't know how to really put them in. And then you give up on these things too easily. So what I recommend doing is first asking for help. There's no reason to contact a qualified electrician for this thing. Don't be scared of it. If you need to, turn the power off. If you have a problem like this where my bulb won't start, give it a minute. Maybe tap the bulbs, maybe they're getting old. Maybe tap the ballast, but they will turn on. And maybe I actually have a bad socket. Yeah, I think I have a bad socket. 
There we go. See, I have a bad socket right there or here. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, and like this video. And stay tuned for more um, fluorescent lighting. I do want to do videos on all these fixtures like this one here. Maybe show you how to replace a bulb in one of these type. And then I also have a new shelf right here. You can't see it. Real quick, I'm just going to do a... So as you can see it. So that one hums a little bit. Even though it's electronic ballast. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, and like this video. And have a great day.